Hey girls, it's Monday. This week's theme on All Made of Awesome is our favorite television program, Doctor Who. Doctor Who? <laughs> I got into Doctor Who actually because of this channel. When we were messaging each other this time last year, getting ready to launch, Sarah and Sarah Michelle and Candace were all like, we love Doctor Who! And Jen and I were like, we should watch that. Within a week, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best television show I've ever seen in my entire life and I'm in love. I've come up with a list of questions for myself. The other girls don't have to use these, but they're like good framework questions. I guess. Who is your favorite doctor? Mine is undoubtedly Matt Smith. David Tennant's a close second, but I adore Matt Smith. I think his foppish silliness and, oh, we're in a tunnel now. I wonder if you can see me. The I'm, Baltimore Tunnel. <laughs> Baltimore Tunnel. It's like, a, like we're under the earth, because one of my favorite episodes with Matt Smith is the you Hungry Earth. earth. Ah, no, not under the earth. You are ruining this. You're so bad at vlogging, Dad. Jeez. When I was growing up as a kid, I always thought he was in a class two plus. I should that. never tell him that he can talk during my vlog because he will make a commentary the entire time. I love Matt Smith. It took me a while to get used to him though. Like it really took me until season six, like because I was so attached to David Tennant that I didn't think I could ever love Matt Smith as much as I love David Tennant. And then season six really turned it around for me. Which brings me to my second question, which is what is your favorite season? For me, it's season six. Again, a very close second is actually season four because my two favorite companions are in season four, and that is my first favorite companion, which is River Song, which I know is controversial. I've loved her from the moment she was in Silence in the Library, which is another one of my favorite episodes. I love that she keeps up with the Doctor in a way that sometimes confuses him. I really am hoping that in season seven we see them together a lot more. My second favorite is Donna Noble, and I just love the dynamic between the Doctor and Donna. I love that they are friends, that there's not that romantic intrigue. Um, because like I like the romantic stuff too, but I was kind of sick of it by season four. Another question, uh, who is your favorite villain? I, I guess this is different than Monster, and maybe it's only particular to me. Oh, oh Rogue Show! My favorite villain <laughs> is not Moriarty. I mean, I really like Moriarty. <laughs> I've totally lost my train of thought now. <laughs> So I like the master because I think he's the perfect foil for the doctor and I thought that the conclusion to season four was the best season finale ever. It was a beautiful conclusion for David Tennant and I just think it was brilliant writing. Now to my favorite monsters, which I guess is not different, but for me it is. because My favorite monsters, and by favorite I mean scare me the most, would be the silence. When Sarah and I were at the Doctor Who experience in London, like seeing the silence because they had them clustered on the ceiling, it was really frightening. They're creepy. Even in person, they're incredibly creepy to look at. So finally, here's a, a short list of some of my favorite episodes. These aren't in any particular order, but they're just the ones that like when I was sitting here in the car that immediately came to mind that I was like, yes, those are the ones that have stuck with me and that I've watched multiple times. And the first one is No One Is Surprised, Vincent and the Doctor. That actually might be my most favorite episode. For what I feel like are incredibly obvious reasons, it's Vincent Van Go and Doctor Who and it's Matt Smith who's my favorite doctor and it's just beautiful. I love how throughout the whole episode they're recreating Van Gogh paintings. I love the portrayal of Van Gogh. I love Bill Nye as the curator. I think the storyline is beautiful. I think the idea of showing Van Gogh his work and how famous he would become and how treasured an artist he would become is both an incredibly interesting thought experiment but I also think it's a really beautiful concept because of his depression and anxiety and I just thought it was remarkable. I said earlier, The Hungry Earth and Cold Blood. I actually wrote one of my papers for my religion and science fiction class on that episode. And one of the reasons why it's my most favorite is because it has that awesome line where the doctor's like, be the best of humanity. And he's talking about like not killing someone. And it's like, yep, I think Gandhi would like that. So I do too. <laughs> Another episode that I really like because of some of the great lines in it is Tooth and Claw from season two. And that's the episode with Queen Victoria. But there's that awesome line that David Tennant as the doctor delivers where he's like, someone says something like, we don't have any weapons. And he's like, what? Are you out of your mind? We're in a library. Books, the greatest weapons known to humankind. 
or something. I might have just botched the line. That's like the quintessential doctor right there to be like, weapons, we have books. And like, I always think that's like such a nerd fighter type line. Two favorite episodes from season three, Blink, which I feel like all of us are gonna say it's one of our favorite episodes. And then the Shakespeare Code, because it's Shakespeare and Harry Potter and David Tennant. Like there is nothing not to adore about that particular episode. From season four would include Midnight because it has Colin Morgan who plays Merlin in it. And he's really good. I also like that episode because you don't know what the monster is. Like, you don't know what is happening. And I think that's a really interesting concept because so often with Doctor Who, as it should be, because it's incredibly gratifying, like, family television, you figure out what's wrong and the Doctor's able to save the day, mostly, and sometimes not everything goes right, but, like, usually you know what's going on. With Midnight, you have no clue. And that's just one of the most frightening concepts. And I just thought that that episode was brilliantly done. My favorite episode from season six was When a Good Man Goes to War. I think that is Doctor who at its absolute best. It was adventurous, it was cleverly written, it had so many of my favorite characters in it, there was a huge twist, we got to see Matt Smith being bonkers. I can't wait for season seven, and I can't wait to meet John Green and Hank Green tomorrow! Ah! Yeah! So, Jen, I'll see you tomorrow.